Hello and welcome to the In Focus series section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha Singh and in today's video we will be discussing about that Europe turns to liquefied natural gas instead of Russia gas. We all are very much aware that how much dependent Europe as a continent was on the Russia supply of natural gas and crude oil. But now because of the Russia-Ukraine war, European Union and NATO countries have put sanctions over the Russia and because of which they are not able to import the Russian gas. So, uh, they have to look for an alternative of it and because of which they have shifted to liquefied natural gas that is LNG. So, let us first understand the timeline of the video. First, we will be looking at the news. Then what is the background of the European Union and use, usage of LNG? Then about the liquefied natural gas. What are its shortcomings? What is the climate impact that the environmentalists or the researchers all over the world are worried about? Then what are the concerns in the end, the prelims MCQ? This topic is of relevance from general studies paper 3 that is environment section and also climate section. So, you should be able to know from exam perspective about the liquefied natural gas, shortcoming, climate impact and concerns. So, let us get started and see the news and the news has been taken from the Indian Express and it says what is liquefied natural gas and how it impacts the climate. So, majorly there are two points. First, we should be able to know what is LNG and second is the most important is its impact on the climate that why the environmentalists around the world are saying that this will be or this can be a very dangerous decision by the European Union for the environment. So, what has happened is European Union is replacing piped Russian gas import rap which is rapidly increasing imports of liquefied natural gas. So, because now because of the sanctions that the European Union have put on the Rus Russia, they have to look for an alternative because European Union as a continent in themselves does not produce much of natural gas or crude oil. They are completely dependent on the import. So, when from Russia they were not receiving the import, so they have to look for something else. And as an alternative, they have opted for the liquefied natural gas. And this liquefied natural gas will be coming from the US. The fracking will be done in the US. And the process by which the liquefied natural gas comes out of the wells or is the process is called fracking. So, this is an important point that you should be able to know that the process through which the LNG comes out is fracking. And by the end of the decade, additional costs for Germany's gas imports which could reach up to that is 212 billion doubling gas bills for consumers. So, now the problem that the environment, environmentalist all over the world is saying that if the European Union will shift to the import of LNG then it will have a negative impact on the environment as it is a potent greenhouse gas then comes that the import bill or the transportation bill or the overall bill will increase for the European Union and which will also put a lot of financial burden on them. Now, let us talk about little bit about the background. It says that while the European Union becomes the biggest LNG importer in the world because they are they will not be receiving from Russia, they will have to opt for something else. Climate activists are calling it a major setback. We will just be knowing the reasons also that why are they calling it the major setback. Then in the effort to limit global warming, LNG emits 10 times more than the piped gas. So, the piped gas through which they were receiving from Russia the natural gas, in comparison to that piped gas, liquefied natural gas will emit 10 times more carbon and this will increase the harmful effects of global warming and the risk of global warming and climate change. So, shifting towards the idea of taking liquefied natural gas, buying liquefied natural gas from the US will increase the risk of climate change, will increase the risk of global warming and will also increase the risk of carbon emissions. Then the activists rejected the claims that has been put by the countries 
बट द एक्टिविस्ट है rejected those claims that the most lng infrastructure is suitable for green hydrogen in the future so the claims that were been given was that the infrastructure which will be created for the import of liquefied natural gas will be usable in future for the green hydrogen but that is not the case and the activists have also rejected it that this will not be the case and the import of lng will require the new development of the infrastructure as this is a very sensitive topic and a very sensitive i would say a uh, very sensitive topic so this requires a very highly skilled and a very highly upgraded infrastructure because even the smallest of mistakes or smallest of setback can also lead to disaster effects in this case then comes what is liquefied natural gas actually what is it what do we what is liquefied natural gas so if we look at the term or the full form then in itself says that it is liquefied natural gas so lng is a natural gas that we all know and it is liquefied it is in a liquid form so lng is a natural gas first point that you should be knowing which is reduced to a liquid state through intense cooling to around minus 161 degree celsius so this is a natural gas which is in a liquid state through the process called liquefaction see the process through which it is coming out of the wells is what it is fracking and the process through which it is converted or it is reduced into liquid form is liquefaction these are the points you should be able to know first is fracking second is liquefaction and it is cooled at a very very low temperature and that temperature is around minus 161 degrees celsius then comes that this liquid that is lng gas is 600 times smaller than the original volume and it is half the weight of water also and it can be transported around the world by ship so if it is transported around the world by ship then what do we know need for the transport through shipping so shipping needs what ports ports need what infrastructure infrastructure need what development so it is like a lot of expenditure so shifting to the lng by the european union who is already suffering a lot because of the sanctions they have put on russia and also because of the economy which is not performing that well they have to spend a lot on the infrastructure development for the transport of the liquefied natural gas then after arriving at its destination the cargo is regasified in a floating terminal and redistributed through pipeline so what happens is imagine this is a port okay this is a port and this is the ship through which the cargo is coming or the lng is coming so for this ship from this ship the lng which has to be shifted to the port or the cargo then you also need a lot of infrastructure this is a very very skilled and a very specialized job that is why the problem of infrastructure development the expenditure issues the capital issues is also arising and that is the reason that even if the minorest or the slightest of problem occurs then this liquefied natural gas can cause a lot of problems now let's see that what are the shortcomings why the environmentalist are pointing towards that this can be a problematic decision which has been taken by the european union so the lng which is the liquefied natural gas is made up of methane and what is methane methane is a potent greenhouse gas and what does greenhouse gas does greenhouse gas in helps in the increase of climate change the effect of climate change greenhouse gases helps in the depletion of ozone layer it also helps in increasing the global warming it means the most of the priority climatic issues the priority environmental issues at present from which we are already suffering a lot and the small nations or the island nations or the vulnerable or the marginalized section is suffering because of which thus this step by the european union can add to their problems then despite lng's export potential it has a lot of export potential 
but the high cost of liquefaction and i have already told you what is liquefaction the process by which the lng is reduced to liquid state so the high cost of liquefaction and producing lng so because of this high cost even though after having an export good export potential its market is very limited then the cooling liquefying and transport processes as well as the post transport regasification procedures require a lot of energy so this is also a problem and the problem is also post post transport regasification procedure so it is not that only till the time the process has been done or the lng has been shifted to the port this the problem goes on no there is a procedure after that also which we we or as a as a nation or as a continent the european union or the Euro europe as a whole will be looking into it then between 10 to 25 percent of the energy of the gas is being lost during the liquefaction process so this is also a problem so these are few of the shortcomings now let's talk about the climate impact which has been gathering all the news so it says that the lng emits about twice as much greenhouse gas as ordinary natural gas so this is the first problem that it is contributing a lot of greenhouse gas emissions into the climate or the environment then it emits 14 times as much carbon as solar power when producing the equivalent amount of energy so emission of carbon is also a problem then it is 50 times as much carbon as wind power then again comes the problem of carbon emission then the risk of methane leakages across the supply chain makes lng much more emiss emissions intensive the problem of leakage see nowadays we all know that the issue a slightest of problem or the slightest of short shortcoming can happen at any point of time but the repercussions that one have to face because of the slightest of shortcoming can also be huge can also be disastrous can also be monster but this is where the problem lies but can the european union or can the world afford the shortcoming or the leakage of methane if at all this happens so this can be a disastrous step if this happens also then energy and carbon intensive that it can create almost 10 times more carbon emission than pipe gas that till now when the european union was receiving the natural gas the, the natural gas through the piped gas so this was not that this was creating a problem but as compared to the piped gas the lng will be 10 times more carbon emissions so if we will see that the major issue arising is of the carbon emissions and also of the greenhouse gases the potent greenhouse gas now let's talk about what are the concerns that has been raised first is shifting towards lng would not only be in conflict with the national climate targets which that we all know that every country has had their own ndcs that is the nationally determined targets so india also have them then this will be in conflict with the ndcs then comes the this will also constitute a breach of international legislation and what are these international legislations or the commitment that is paris agreement that paris agreement talks about that we need to control the rising temperature below 2 degree celsius and if we can manage it till 1.5 degree then this will be a very good step so the the step by the european union that they want to shift towards uh, the transport of lng instead of the piped gas can contribute in the delay of meeting the paris agreement now in the end a prelims mcq and you people need to tell me the answer in the comment section and the question says that consider the following statements regarding lng that is the liquefied natural gas and the first statement is that it is a potent greenhouse gas second is lng emits about four times as much greenhouse gas as ordinary natural gas so you have to tell about the correct option and the codes are one only two only both one and two neither one nor two so try to solve the question and give me the answer in the comment section so that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading and keep writing